It really was a Super Bowl. What were the hottest search trends during the game? Welcome back to Textination. Joining us from Google is trends expert Marta Martinez. Hi, Marta. Hi, how are you? Terrific. Well, let's start with the overall search interest in the two teams here. What did, what, what did you find? Yeah, I'll tell you, there's so much going on during this epic Super Bowl 58 eh, from the players, the halftime show, the surprises, the ads, and of course, Taylor Swift and all of her celebrity friends. And maybe it is all of the Swifties who joined this Super Bowl following Taylor Swift that really turned into this top search topic, which was the following question. The following basic question, how many quarters in the Super Bowl? We also had other searches like, what is end of rec mean? So you will see, you see that there was a lot of learning, which probably reflects a completely new audience coming into the game, which is wonderful in itself. And then it goes into overtime and lots of people, even uh, diehard fans, maybe had some questions about that. Well, not only that, the question where, how long is overtime? When will, they, when will the game end? You have all of the other questions that are, you know, very basic for the Super Bowl funds uh, of the years, over the years, but only for the new, for the new uh, audiences joining in. When it came to the players, which players were on top when it came to uh, searches? Yeah, very interesting. So this year, Travis Kelsey was the top trending player. He beat the MVP of the game, Patrick Mahomes this, uh, Mahomes this year. And right behind them was Kristen McCaffrey. And of course, the uh, halftime show got lots of attention uh, featuring Usher. Uh, what were the search trends there? Yeah, the halftime show uh, was uh, epic this year, bringing so many uh, different awesome celebrities. And you'll be surprised to see that minutes before they kick off, the top trending why was the question, why does Asher wear gloves? <laughs> Some people think that it's a tribute to Michael Jackson, but he hasn't said that for sure yet. And people were also trying to find out how old he is. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure there is a lot of uh, searches that go on during the, the halftime show. It, they search the music ly lyrics is always really high. Another one of the searches this this time, the top uh, search song was turned down for what? Follow, of course, by yeah, and then my boo. So you have those and you have a lot of trying to understand what's going on behind the scenes. Something interesting, too, was we saw Cirque du Soleil spike 600% in the first few minutes of the half and show, which is interesting. And you like to see that adult piano lessons near me also spiked right after the half and show. People were inspired, I suppose. Wow. Mm -hmm. So the commercials always get uh, a lot of attention, a ton of money spent, some big names uh, this year, as there usually are. What were the top ads viewed on, on YouTube? Yes, certainly. You could see most of the ads even before the game at youtube.com slash And the most watched ads during the game were for second year in a row, booking.com made the number one slot. Booking hosted a 30 Rock reunion where Tina Fey uh, booked whomever she wanted to be with a special Glenn Close uh, appearance. The second most watched commercial was the T-Mobile connection um, with uh, auditions for the next Magenta status spokesperson. They brought in all of the celebrity compilation to, for the interview, and it was hilarious. And the third one, you will not be surprised by this one, was State Farm, like a good neighbor, where we all got to laugh when the team tried to teach Arnold how to know the slogan pronunciation. Neighbor. Neighbor. Hey, let's go again. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. That was that was funny, certainly. Bye. And then and then and Google also had one of the most viewed ads there for the for the Pixel Eight, and it was a, a really touching commercial. Yeah, it was Javier in frame. It's a it's an ad for a, the new capability in the Google Pixel a camera that allows people with low vision to be able to frame it so that they can they can 
they can take the pictures in 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 the right way with his new phone. Something that's very core to how a Pixel goes to market and develops products. Right, using AI. So you okay. also you also took a look at uh, food searches. Uh, I guess a lot of these uh, were done prior to the game. Uh, things like uh, the, the game day dips and chicken wing styles. What did you, there were real differences around the country, right? Yeah, real difference around the country. And the top trending question ahead of Super Bowl was how many chicken wings will be consumed on Super Sunday? Which is interesting because Super Bowl is the second biggest food holiday in the US after Thanksgiving. I'll give you a few of the numbers. Top a deep a flavor was buffalo in the US this year. And the top chicken wing style were the wet wings. So you see some changes going there over the years, but always really fun to see how they how you know how our food consumption evolves. So for more info, where can people go to, to look up some of these trends? You have all of the ads in the in the Super Bowl can be found at youtube.com slash And for the trends overall, where can people find them? Just Google look on. Just go ahead and 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 type away. Terrific. Marta Martinez, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you for having me.